Yeah, boys. So, we got the Takeda Shinjin white version. I'm going to go over some of the differences. Um, they have switched up and changed a decent amount of things. The other reason why I got this is because it is very... Um, you know what? There is a good amount of difference between the axe being crazy... Um, you still get your swords, things like that. Also, there is a pretty big difference. When you see, not even really too much the details, but when you start to see like what they've done differently, um, I'm not going to go through it until I show you the, the red version. I don't have the black, so the red and the black version are identical except for the fact that One's red and one's black. Black is a limited edition. They kind of did it like Ryoma mode with, um, you know, how they do with the getter bots. That stuff. So, they did a limited edition black one. You can probably find it for around 400 the lowest I've seen it. I don't know why. I mean, this is a good bot, but I don't know why they've done a bunch of, you know, re you know three reissues anyway it'd be nice if they the bots that they do this is mo show anyway just in case you didn't know here's the tray the two arms came in you got three swords the stand and the hair piece i don't know if this came with um a hidden prize. They usually do, um, not a prize, a um, special thing. Like, you know, so it'd be the hair or a weapon or something to that effect. I'm not sure this thing came with anything like that. It didn't come with the prize box. I think you're already getting the fists. I don't know. Some of the shoulder padding's different. The crotch piece. Obviously the fist. I do want to show you one thing before I get too into it. I almost didn't do a video on this. I opened it up. I'm kind of playing around with it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me do a video. So you guys can see and maybe I can help out some people out there. So now, if you have the other Takedas, okay? This is kind of a hack. It doesn't tell you how to. Play around with it. Figure it out for yourself. See what you like. There's a peg in here in the arms. So there's a combination of different ways. They don't really give you much to play with because I don't think they intended this. Even though if you look around, you'll see stuff. Posted um, about this being posted. What I'm going to show you right now. So look at that. So on the back, if you remove one of these, how, how does it go? Damn. Does it go like that? Or does it go like that? I think it might go like this. I'll look again anyway. Let me check it out. I'll look it after. I tried. So anyway, I want to show you this. This is what's important. So you can do a different combination of these elbow and joint pieces. So you're able to move it around, okay? Let me back up here. Show you guys. You don't want to have like somewhere where you think there's a joint and there's not. And then you snap the peg or something. So just be careful. Like here. Okay. And again, I'm just doing this real quick. I kind of played around with it earlier and realized, I don't know, I didn't like the look. So you can have, you know, your hands come out like this, have some extra hands going around. Whoops. If you don't want to put that piece on. The thing is, is they don't, this is everything, almost everything it's come with. 
So to have a nice kind of long arm that makes it worth it on the back, you'll have to attach everything. But my point being is if you have the Red Takeda, Date, um, one of those guys, you can borrow the pieces because they all come with identical, you know, sword holster pieces like this. And you can make, you know, bigger arms, which are cool. Throw some swords on. You can have the arms coming out, you know, maybe a little longer, maybe reaching over a little more. But that's if you want to do that. I Again, the look isn't, for me, it seems cool because it seems like a mechanical, you have the, these parts and it seems like a mechanical arm just sprung out. So, this thing is cool. It lights up. Spring, spring assist. So that's kind of sick. You want to make sure you push this thing in before you close it back because I don't think the upper parts, whatever clips it in up here, clips. That's cool. That's a, f I mean, that's just a fucking ridiculous. We're getting into the parts where shit's not, almost not even weapons anymore. All right. Yep, this goes on the bottom. I'm using the magnetic base. That's what I love about Mosho. They have that magnetic base, so you can just put your, um, damn, put your robot without, <clears throat> having it on a stand because sometimes you see that metal leg coming through in between and you're like you know it just doesn't look clean now the thing i want to share with you i wasn't too sure so the arm connection the arm connection male female ends now you see how the nub here is pushed that way it's offset it's not in the center these do spin around, so if you have a fist on, you get 360 wrist rotation circle. In here is the same. You want to make sure the thick and thin part match up. So the thick part's on the bottom, so I'm going to want to put it this way. Now, this part very slightly pulls out and in. Look at this. All of it opens. This is going to connect to the forearm. So pull that open. Oh, okay. And I've said it before in my previous reviews, I never cared too much for the Mosho wrist attachments I know Mosho has some good quality but to me it looks all right and that piece goes in and it's nice and secure I love how they did that it's nice and secure let's get a close-up see the nice yellow color of the face the arms are cool I mean this thing's a badass you know no QC issues I mean there's a couple like this knuckle piece came off right here but you know what's also cool is you can keep a couple of them off if you wanted a more mechanical look. Not that it doesn't look mechanical already, but just saying. Look at this. So again, it's, it's not just a repaint. This guy here is a 2.0, if you will. Or a 1.5. 
however you want to look at it. Different weapons, different accessories, different um, plate armor in the front, different plate armor in the back. The legs here have some uh, rocket boosters. The guards here are different. The ankle um, shin type guards, whatever you, not shin, but ankle guards. Then these piece up top, I'm going to show you, but I'm just going to go over it. Obviously the big arms, the back's the same. You got the different hair, kind of looks like the Lancelot. I almost didn't want to get this because he was white and the Lancelot's kind of white. And I thought they would, you know, just not clash, but just kind of cancel each other out, you know. Dot Day's blue, the original's red, it sticks out nicely on the shelf. I just thought of something. So basically, here you go, right? So instead of having, check this out guys, you can thank me later. So here's the thing that comes off if you want to have him have a sword on his back. This piece comes off. If it was Mazinger Z, it'd be to connect to Scrander. And if you have Date, you could probably swap out the swords. I think the blue sheaths would look cool with this guy. I mean, this kind of matches. But at least you have some sort of, you know, connection with the crew. It's like, all right, he has his color, he has his color. So let me try. I haven't done this yet. Let me get the clips here. Do these. Okay, it's going to have to bend. Ooh, that's where you use these. All right, let me put some shit together and I'll be right back. Check this out. How's that, huh? Just having fun. Look at that. So this can... You can fold it out like that. That'd be cool if these things were actually, um, you could throw some guns on there. Like the, um, the Wind Chew or whatever his name is. The, the blue one I did not get. Because without the cannons, it, he just, he looks too plain. He looks dumb. I didn't like that design at all. And I'm not going to get it just to fill up my collection. Because Mosho will be dropping hopefully something else soon. In the Protagoner series. And then I'll just wait. And if I like that, I'll get that. Um, I don't know what's going on. Because I'll tell you right now. What's happening is. Blitzway and Mosho are partnering up to do their Getter. Um, Shin Getter one as you guys probably know. And they're also teaming up to do a Voltron. So keep an eye out for those as well. Yeah, so that's what he looks like. The hands have um, peg holes, as you can probably see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to attach the axe for this guy. Let me see here. Let me back out. I think this guy is going to hold the axe because this, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a big, I mean, it's big heavy. I might just have him do swords. The axe is, is kind of big. It is heavy. I had a feeling I wasn't going to, you know, listen, I dig the axe. But it's like one of those things where I don't want to have him, you know, I only have so much room. I can't have him block another character. I'm just trying to figure it out. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you know all that stuff. So, what I am doing now, I want to show you one last thing. Because I don't want to rush it. So I'm going to do a comparison video next. Bring out all my Mo shows. And show you guys the deal. That little sword uh, trick that I showed you 
So when you move the arms up, the sword typically would want to follow it. But if you have it on these joints here, when the you put the arm up to pose it, you can always keep the sword back. So you'd always have a nice consistent look. So that could be the case too. You know, they're on a floating hinge and just stay at a certain angle no matter what the arm does. But yeah, again, another great one by Mosho. Hopefully they come out with more of the Protagonar Effect series. See, this is where I'm just getting a little confused. They have the Protagonar Effect. Um, when they came out with Lancelot, I don't know if it's the same, you know, Protagonar um, tag or really what that means. But that's it. I'm going to bust them all out. I don't want to rush the review. So I want to be able to have time to show you guys, you know, everything. Again, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.